<laughs> Yo! In this video I'll be showing you how to get the DVD decoder that you accidentally deleted or you rebuilt your computer and you lost it back. I don't know if that made sense. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get the DVD decoder for Windows Media Player. And, um, yeah, I uh, accidentally deleted mine, like, last week. And I realized that most of the decoders you have to pay, like, 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks for, which I think is ridiculous. So I found this pack of codecs, which has a bunch of DVD decoders in there and other codecs in there that you can use for Windows Media Player. So basically if you ever have any problem playing a DVD or any sort of video on your computer just download this and it should work. Um, yeah so I tried to play a DVD on my computer and I got this message. Windows Media Player cannot play the DVD because a compatible DVD decoder is not installed. That, that just annoyed the hell out of me. I mean I don't know. Anyway that's what I got. So, what you want to do is click on the link that I supplied in the description, and you'll get this window. It's a freecodex.com, downloading the K-Lite Codec Pack. What you want to do is click this right here, download K-Lite Codec Pack. And then you'll get all these options, and do not click on this please this looks very convincing but please do not click on that is it is a pop-up ad anyways you'll get all these options you're gonna wanna go to download K-Lite Kodak Pack full click on it you might get this nice little ad but it will load in time or you can hit skip and this will pop up just hit save file save it to your desktop is where I recommend saving it and your download will start but I already have it so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out once it's done downloading this should appear on your desktop this is the setup for the K-Lite codec, ah, K -Lite codec pack click on it and this is what the installation looks like just hit next now this is what you'll get when you first click on it. It'll just be the default setup. There's, I mean, if you already have Windows Media Player, I just did the default settings without the player because I already have it. Um, there's a bunch of options. I mean, I didn't even, to be honest, I did not go through all these. But I think if you just hit either the default setup or default without player you, sh you should be set yeah so I did default without player but you can do default if you want it doesn't really matter hit next and um... I didn't really look at all these either these are not important uh... just hit next again and uh, select which switch yeah hit windows media player next 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 Actually, let's go back for a second. If there's any sort of file extension that you want to enable in thumbnail, I don't know why you would. Just check it, but I mean, I didn't need it. So, uh, just hit next, and next, and install. And it'll extract and do its thing. Just give it time. And finally, this will pop up and it will make you restart your computer. And, I don't know, I just restart it now. But, I have already have it, so I'm going to go ahead and say no, I will restart it later. And, once you have restarted your computer, you should be able to play your videos. Thanks for watching.